everyone, and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Guess what time it is? It is time for Art Market once again <laughs> at the Coastal Discovery Museum. It is actually the 23rd Art Market. We have Elizabeth Greenberg with us. She is Director of Exhibitions at the museum. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Nice to be back. So I'm really excited. We're going to cover it. It's the weekend of the 27th and 28th of April, of course, at the mu Well, it's out on the grounds, right? Yes, under so the live oaks. So near the, from the pavilion to the horse barn, basically, all under the oaks and out in the field there. And So what kinds of artists do you have? Oh, everything. <laughs> everything. And it's bigger this year than it's ever been, actually. So we have just over 100 hundred artists wow. um, so, you know it's usually around 90 so wow, we, fantastic. We, um, we had a lot of applications mm -hmm. a lot of new people applying which was really exciting um, and it's everything it's jewelry it's ceramics it's painting obviously and drawing and watercolor and uh, woodworking and um, metal you know things for your lawn things for your house things to wear <laughs> so there's really something for everyone and it's very high level and it's also a nice mix of prices so yes. there's very very expensive end, things but right. there's also very reasonable things so it's really for everybody. And it's just a wonderful event too. Yes. It's not just the market and all of the art and the crafts and so forth but there's also food and drinks and... Yeah so we also expanded that this year and, and um, so we have uh, several food trucks both okay. days. We have um, a piece of yard and abroad, tin and tallow, Ocon, um, Fun. odd birds, <laughs> ice cream, and then Gordon's Hop Stop, which will be serving drinks. Nice. We have Filipino food. I mean, it's really, there's a really nice mix both days. Yeah. You can, we'll have picnic tables set up at one end, nice. the pavilion at the other. And I remember last year talking with you about it, and, and you really wanted to up it to really be almost an arts festival. Yes, yeah, little by little. Yeah. So we're doing yeah, it, you yeah, know, yeah. in steps. It, it, yeah. I moved here from Greenville, and Greenville oh, has yes. Artisphere. Yes, which is amazing, amazing. Yeah, and it's in the streets. They closed down the streets of of Greenville, and it's pretty awesome. So I don't know if you'll ever get that big, but you've got the property it's, to we do, be. You we do. do. That would be <laughs> our sphere. Would be like that. Yeah. Would be a goal. <laughs> what is in your What's in your bag? So I brought you some show and tell. These are okay. I've been. I, so I've only run the art market for this year and and part of last year. Um, but I went. I've gone for seven yes. years. So I've accumulated things over the years. <laughs> um, so I brought a few things that I've bought over the years okay. of artists who will be there this year. All right. So. Um, a lot of people mm. who know art locally. Mm. This is Murray Sees, and mm. she's in Bluffton. So she's one of our local artists. Mm. I love Murray's work, and I love chickens and roosters. <laughs> so I bought this several years ago for my kitchen because okay. everybody should have a, right. a chicken in their kitchen. Um, and then last year, there's oh. a wonderful um, leather maker, um, bags, and he does all handmade nice. leather. And I was like, oh, yes, I must have this crossbody bag. <laughs> So crossbody, um, yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Smells all good, handmade. all handmade. Yeah. He has bigger things too, but like yes. really high quality yeah. um, things. Beautiful. So I, t you know, I tend yeah. to buy things that I can wear. Yes. Um, and then in here, let's see. So this one, I didn't actually buy at Art Market. I bought oh. it at another market. But then I talked to the artist, and she's coming to Art Market. Oh, so me. this is just a little. Tr she does much bigger work. Yes. I just bought a little trinket tray, but um, she's a ceramicist out of Columbia. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. Very very excited that she's coming. She's one of our Cute. new artists. Me. And then, of course, jewelry. Oh. I'm wearing jewelry actually, that I bought last year. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I bought Did this you? at Art Market oh. um, with the earrings probably three years ago. And I, don't, it's, I just happened to wear it today, but go. I love it. Yes. And then I bought these, which I really love. This is a wonderful artist. She's coming back this year. So oh, these look are at those earrings. silver. Sorry if they're not yeah. viewable there. <laughs> oh, those are pretty. So I've got, I've bought, yeah. I buy earrings every year. Yeah. So I have. Very beautiful. Yeah, I love um, the jewelry. There's a lot of beautiful jewelry. A lot of really jewelry. good jewelry. And and really like a mix of, I mean, there's some it's very, very high-end things. Right. And actually, we have a, a new artist coming this year who's coming from Greenville. Oh, boy, his work. is. Awesome. I'm very excited to see it in person. So. Now, Elizabeth, the Times, it's 10 on that Saturday the 27th, 10 to 5. 10 to 5, and then 10 to 4 on the Sunday. On it the used Sunday. to be 11 to 4, but this year okay. we're extending it. There's no right. reason not to start at 10. No. So the artists are ready to go. And when you're there, you can go to the museum and see the wonderful artwork from the high schools that yes. we were covering yes. that last so week. So it's the third um, 
annual Beaufort County High School Regional, uh, and this brings together north and south of the broad, uh, the, the high schools across yeah. the county. It's really good this year. It's, it's really, really good. It's so a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Come to Art Market, stop in the gallery. That's up through May 7th. For sure. Thank you so okay. much, Elizabeth Greenberg. Thank you. From the Coastal Discovery Museum, Art Market is April 27th and 28th.